get popcorn. This is a long video. Enjoy. What's up guys, the Hackspot here, and today I'm officially ready to give you guys my thoughts on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Alright, now to preface, in this video right here, I saw the Apple keynote, the Apple event 2019, and in short, I was disappointed. I was hoping that Apple had more in store, especially at the beginning of the event, when Tim Cook said that he has a lot to unveil, and there's just so much great stuff and innovation in this new iPhone and all the new Apple products that are going to be released. So I made that video talking about what I liked and disliked about the events and how I was overall just disappointed. I was wanting more from Apple, but here's the thing. I was still going to give the new iPhone 11 a shot to see if I actually did like it or if I was just missing something that I didn't see while holding this device. And oh boy, spoiler alert, I did upgrade to this iPhone 11 Pro Max. It's now my daily driver. So that just shows how great of an upgrade and improvement and just how great of a phone it is. All right, so to start with, before I was rocking the iPhone 10, the iPhone 10s and 10s Max came out. I did update to the iPhone 10s Max to try it out, but in short, I just found that it was the exact same phone. I didn't feel any difference and in the end I ended up returning the phone and went back to the iPhone 10. So that's that right there. This is my daily driver right here. You guys can see I don't have my case on it anymore. But if I go in and boot it up, I'm pretty sure this phone is dead. So that shows you guys that I did indeed update to the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Whoa, okay. But you guys might be wondering what makes this phone great? It's basically the same phone. It has triple N setup and a new color. What's what's so cool about this? Don't worry guys, I was in the same camp. When you actually go in and pick up and use this phone and have it for some time, we realize what makes it a great phone. Now I understand why Tim Cook was so hyped. First off, I like the new colors and design of the iPhone 11 Pro and Pro Max, especially this midnight green. I know this is a color that you could either love or hate, but I personally really like it. I think it looks really, really cool. It's like kind of black and the sunlight is green, so I think it looks really cool. And on top of that, the matte finish and the Apple logo being centered, all the like text and labels being removed and this like frosted look on the camera too. It all looks dope when you look at it in person and I just really like the design of the iPhone. It feels nicer too. It's like more smooth and I feel like it attracts less fingerprints as well. So I love the design. I still do hope Apple in the future will go with more block design. I think that'll look cool, but for now, this is amazing. Now, second, Face ID is so much faster. I remember on my iPhone 10, I even disabled Face ID because half the time it would just not work or just take too much time, like two seconds to unlock my phone every single time. I unlock my phone so many times a day. With this new Face ID being so much faster, I realized that it became second thought and I had to really think about it. I'm like, hold on, Face ID is actually like working really well and quick. It even works at more angles. So that is so cool. I just love how much faster Face ID is. It makes me not miss Touch ID as much as before. All right, so better design, a much faster improved Face ID. Now let's talk about the camera because of course that's the main selling point of this. That's what Apple talked about the most. I know it can be a little bit boring, but it's actually not. It's actually a really cool camera. So over here we have the triple lens setup and over here with the wide angle, we got the ultra wide and then we got the telephoto for zooming in and out. And this is really cool. Now another feature is that it's so good in in dark areas where there's not enough light and that is where this camera really excels and it's so cool. It uses digital processing. Now let's hop into the photos app where there's actually a lot new. Now this is where it gets cool. All right, so you can see on the borders right there, you can see the ultra wide camera. So if you wanna to switch to that lens, you can do that. And to do that, so first we got the wide camera in the middle. You can tap on this button right here to view the ultra wide. I've took some dope shots with this. I'll show you guys in a second. But then over here on the very right, you can zoom in and you can also zoom in more using the digital zoom if you want to. I would not recommend that by the way, but you could do that if you have to. Now to take a photo, if you're in the photo mode, all you gotta do is tap on the shutter button just like that and take a photo of course. But to take a video now, you could just tap and hold on that button and you guys can see it will record kind of like in Snapchat. Once you let go, it'll stop recording and save it. And also, if you want to take a burst photo, you can just go ahead and bring this and slide it over and you guys can see I'm now taking burst photos just like that. On the top over here, I have my flash. I would recommend keeping that disabled. And over here, you have this button right here. Basically, this works for like the night mode of the camera. So you can see how long you would like to expose it for light to get a better picture. I would slide it do it by default. It's good at that. And over here, you got the button to turn on and off live photos. So I like to 
I don't know. I don't really care about that, but let's go tap on this arrow right here. And once it's facing down, you can see now we have more options. So again, we got the flash. We got the like a little night mode toggle toggle thing. You could choose how long you want it to go for based on your conditions and lightning. Let's go back. And again, you got your live photos. You can change the aspect ratio. So you go from square to four by three or 16 by nine. I like 16 by nine. You can also choose like a time. So if you wanted to take a picture in like 10 seconds, you could do that. I'm having my timer off. And you also have this button right here where you could add filters. I haven't played around with this too much. I like my pictures like pretty raw, so I keep it right there. But yeah, overall pretty easy to use. Now to get back to the other menu and bring that down, I can just go and tap on the arrow again, it'll go away. Now let's head over to video. And this again looks a bit, pretty much the same, except when you go and tap on the video button now, it records without you having to hold down on that button if you want to do that. Now, this is the cool part. Let me go and show you guys some pictures I took with this camera. And I'll also be showing you guys some samples I'm gonna take in real time for you guys. Let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, so guys, let me start off by showing you guys the craziest part of the iPhone 11 Pro Max's camera. It is amazing in night mode. The night mode capabilities are incredible. So first off, here's the iPhone 10. I took a picture just inside my car. I thought I'd take a test out the dark features. I mean, the night mode capability, basically. And over here in this next picture over here, you guys can see is completely different. Everything is just so much more vibrant. You can see all the colors and all the details. The sky is glaring as much. So there's a lot less noise. That's the biggest thing I noticed with these photos. And here's another picture that I took. So again, you guys can see this is on the iPhone 10 over here. And over here, we got the iPhone 11 Pro Max. You guys can see even those light streaks that you would see in the sky are not present on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. It just looks so much better and so much more well put together. Now, here's another picture on the iPhone 10. And this is so crazy, guys. I just love this camera so, so much. I was amazed with what Apple did. Again, I was not really excited with, for the camera. But again, here's a new picture. And here it is on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. You can see it looks like a basically new picture with like a professional camera. And that is just absolutely fantastic. Again, we're back to the iPhone 10. This is a more darker picture and like a darker scene. You can see there's like more lights on the side. And yeah, so you guys can see on the iPhone 10, you can basically see nothing. But then when you switch over to the iPhone 11 Pro Max, it's insane, guys. You guys can see all the details. You guys get so much more into the frame. And it just looks so much better. You don't got these light streaks and everything just is in detail. So you can see all the colors and everything. So here's a portrait photo kind of. And I thought I could take one in person and... So yeah, this is the iPhone 10, and you can see again, you got the light glares, you got the terrible colors, the noise, and over here on the iPhone 11 Pro Max, it's again, a completely different picture. Again, all these pictures are completely unedited. I did not touch any of the pictures at all. I just took it with the iPhone 11 Pro Max, and that was it. Again, we're back on the iPhone 10 over here, and we switch over to the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Right over here, and look at that, guys. So basically, it digitally processes an image, and just looks absolutely fantastic, so... I love this camera so much in the dark. Again, here's another photo on the iPhone 10. iPhone 11 Pro Max, completely different photo. Now look at this picture right here. Look on the top right, we got that light streak. Everything looks super dull and boring. And it's like, what did you take it with? A Nokia? Or I mean, not a Nokia, like a Razor phone or a flip phone. And look at this, this is the iPhone 11 Pro Max. It looks like a professional photo. And it's not bad. I mean, just for clicking one button and having it do all this processing and look like that, it's incredible. Here's another picture. Now we have the iPhone 11 Pro Max. So the differences are night and day by far. It's crazy. Another photo on the iPhone 10. This one is not too bad on the iPhone 10, to be honest. But again, on the iPhone 11 Pro Max, it's just so much better. So yeah, you can see I had some fun with the cameras. I just kept on going. So like I can see the light glitter on the iPhone 10 again. The colors are terrible. There's a lot of noise. And it's not a very clear shot. But once you switch over to the iPhone 11 Pro Max, Look at this, guys. Every time you take and click a photo, it's just always perfect, and it's amazing. And this test is out. I went to my room, too, afterwards, and I took this picture in co almost complete black darkness. I'm like, there's no way it'll be able to capture this. And it brightened it up and brought it to this picture. And this, believe it or not, this is like almost in complete darkness. I wish I got the picture before that. All right, so as promised, I'm going to be showing you guys this camera in complete darkness. I'm going to turn off my LEDs. I'm even gonna turn on my light. I turn off my light, I mean, okay? So, all right, this complete darkness that you guys can see, the only thing that's lighting up this room, all the doors are closed, all the windows closed this night, and the only thing that's light up is my Apple logo on my laptop. So, I'm gonna take a picture of this right here, and click. It's gonna go into load, as you guys can see, and boom, it will process it. And just like that, we have a picture that does not look like it was taken in that dark. So it's really pretty capable. And let's try another picture over here of this mess that I got. All right, it's pretty messy, but let's see if we can capture. Again, it's even darker because the Apple logo is not lighting it up over there, but 
look at this. I mean, you're still able to get something out of this. It really is like super dark. You can see that, but then it kind of like adjusts. So let me show you guys how actually dark, this is how actually dark it is right now. And it's still working. It's really pretty insane. And here's just a regular daylight camera, right? So it looks good in the day too. Of course it works great at night, but it works even better in the day. So you guys can see that right here. And this is the wide angle lens, the ultra wide one. So yeah. You guys see, you get to get a lot more of the shot. And again, this is a completely unedited photo. Isn't that mind blowing? So again, here's another photo. You guys see all the lights and everything. Everything's in detail and nothing's like blowing out another color like the dark, the darks and the blacks are all in focus. And here's another example we could do with the ultra wide cameras. Like I can see, it looks like I'm picking up my car or a person. You can just have a lot of fun with it. And this is so cool, guys. I think I've been turning this into a trend right here. But yeah, it's a lot of fun to play around with the ultra wide camera. Oh boy, was I missing out before. Alright, so an upgraded camera. This one is actually a great upgrade and it's actually really cool. So now, what else about this iPhone 11 Pro Max makes it great? Well, the display. This display gets brighter. I just noticed it a lot more crisp. This is Samsung's newest technology in their displays, so it's great. They're not lacking behind on this one. You know, sometimes when a new phone comes out and it's like so amazing and it's fun to use and it's like looks amazing that you keep on whipping it out of your pocket just to look at the screen and swipe around, see the smoothness and fluidity of the phone. That's this phone, okay? I haven't done that in a while where I just take my phone randomly out of my pocket just to play around with it, but I do do that with the iPhone 11 Pro Max. I'm like a child again. The display just gets super bright and the colors are just absolutely amazing on the display. It just looks fantastic. And yeah, it's just a great overall display. Watching movies or any video with this big, bigger display just feels like a movie on here, especially with it being so crisp and clear. And it just looks fantastic. I love the colors. I love the brightness. I love the screen size. Again, it makes it feel like a theater in your hand because of how close you hold it to your face. And yeah, you just have to see this display in person to really experience how good it is. Again, this is the OLED display too, just like the last ones. So you guys see when it goes black, all the pixels do turn off. So it looks super cool. And it's like a pitch black. So yeah, the display is just really, really good. And I'm a huge fan of it. Now with the great display, you need some good sounding speakers. Now with the iPhone 11 Pro Max, I noticed these speakers are really good right from the get-go as soon as I start playing music from the speakers I'm like whoa is that from my iPhone that's crazy so I was honestly impressed so over here I've got the iPhone at 10 and I'm gonna be playing some music and I'll then I'll play on the iPhone 11 Pro Max come on face ID is so much slower on this okay yes I was watching some KSI okay god that face ID so much slower okay but anyways let's go to Apple music and let's play the same song all right so here we go I'm gonna go and play it full volume All right, so you guys see there's a pretty noticeable difference right there. And by the way, why I have this plugged in is because the battery's almost dead. And I'm using this charger right here. It's probably my favorite portable charger. By the way, not a sponsor, but it's a, the sleekest charger ever. It feels like an old iPod. It's pretty simple, touch buttons, and it has an LED indicator, but it's Hue if you guys wanna know, but again, not a sponsor. I just love it a lot. I thought I'd give them a shout out. Now, I know some people might not like this about the new iPhones, but that is that they did away with 3D touch. So now there's haptic touch. It basically is the same thing, but you just gotta hold down an icon instead of actually like force touching. So let's go ahead and just like tap and hold. It'll vibrate and it'll work. I actually like this more. Once I got used to it, I do like it more than 3D touch because I would always accidentally use 3D touch because I don't know if I use my display like too harshly by tapping on it too hard. But yeah, I like this more. It's like a little long press and it works. And of course, with that, you get better battery life. So on the iPhone 11 Pro Max, you do get five hours more of battery life. On just the iPhone 11 Pro, the small version of this phone, you do get four more hours of battery. And over here on the iPhone 11, Apple says you get one more hour of battery life, but I saw some like battery tests where that's not really true. It kind of heats up a bit, but yeah, Brandon Butch, good, good video. So on this iPhone, believe it or not, I've been running basically a day and a half. I still haven't charged. I haven't charged my phone last night and I'm still at 17%. Usually by the end of the day, my phone is completely dead, it's depleted, it died. But with this phone, I usually have around like 30% left. So if I forget to charge, I could really go half the next day without charging my phone, which is crazy, but I probably should get to charging it. And the way I use my phone is I do some light gaming. I'm not really a heavy gamer on iOS, but I also do a lot of web browsing, photos, videos, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter. 
Uh, YouTube videos, I use a lot of weather, all that stuff. You know, I have my Apple Watch connected and all that good stuff. So Watch OS 6 actually is pretty dope, by the way. You got a calculator built in and you, got, you can just see how much you're going to tip by tapping on the tip button. And it's just so cool. All right, this video is not about the Apple Watch. Now, on the iPhone 11s, you do actually get some exclusive live wallpaper. So these are the ones on iPhone 11 Pro. So you guys can see, this is what it looks like. And they're pretty cool. I'm pretty sure this one right here is meant to be for the midnight green. But yeah, it does look pretty cool. And yeah, I don't really use these ones, but again, they do look really nice. And also, the same thing goes for the iPhone 11, the regular model with the two cameras. You guys can see... I go into it so you guys can see that there are custom live wallpapers that are pretty dope so i actually like the ones on the iphone 11 more than the ones on the pro i think they look a lot cooler maybe because i'm just like a very vibrant person but yeah they do look pretty cool now with the new a13 bionic chip this phone is just so fluid and fast i've literally been on a call and hold and i've been using my gps at the same time on maps and i've also been surfing the web and stuff like that and it does not lag at all it doesn't even heat up so this chip is powerful and it's just so so capable it makes our phone just feel so fluid and it's just crazy i really like this chip and this phone and even for gaming games load up a lot quicker so this game is called alliance air war and i just got it on my iphone 11 pro and it's a lot of fun i want a good plane game and yeah this is just that so yeah i can see we are off the graphics i guess you can see the graphics are just absolutely incredible you go around and you shoot all these other planes i'm gonna try to find them okay there's some right there all right here we go Oh, I need to dodge this missile. Going up, going up, going up. It's kind of hard to place on camera. But, all right. Oh, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This missed. All right, I need to go find. Okay, they're up there. Ah, oh, there you are. There you are. I need to get closer, and here we go. All right, this guy's getting lit up. This guy is getting lit up. Oh, I got him, got him, got him, got him for sure. Oh, yep. Yeah, there we go. There we go, boys. All right, so, yeah. Pretty cool. It looks better in person. Now, here's Asphalt 9 Legends. This is actually a great game when you change the controls so you can control it by yourself. But, again, the graphics just look absolutely amazing. It works great on the iPhone 10. So, yeah. This, these are the games I play on my iPhone if I do any gaming. But, you can see, the graphics are amazing. Let me get my NOS. Boom, boom, boom. And just look at this, guys. It just works so smooth. I'm not losing any frames or anything. Okay, I just took that guy out. Let's get some boost. All right, Shockwave. Okay, here we go, here we go. All right, we got the Shockwave. Oh my god, that's a, that's a little too much power. Alright, but here we go. Alright, this guy's trying to... Come on. Come on now. Woo! Alright, here we go. Alright, we just passed him up. I probably need to drift more. Is there a jump? Okay, we just finished the race. Good beans. Alright, we got third. That's unfortunate. Gaming is great, and... Whoa, look at that. Ever since, like, where I talked about battery life... I only dropped 2%. That's crazy. And if you put it in a low power mode, I'm pretty sure you could get so much more juice out of this thing. Now, you guys can see, I even matched the midnight green to this camo wallpaper I have in the back. I know this midnight green is a love or a hate. You either love it or hate it. But I really like it. All right, guys. But I think I said enough. The iPhone 11 Pro Max is actually a good upgrade. I was wrong. That's really crazy for me to say. Regardless of which phone you're on, this is a good upgrade. But of course, the next iPhone will be even better. So if you want to wait, you can. I hope they do go for a more block design in the same form factor again. But yeah, until then, this is a great phone and I am not complaining anymore. Thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this review. Please be sure to hit that like button and that subscribe down below. This is the Hackspot. Peace. Yeah. Look, lately I went missing with no permission, it's part of it I've been working harder than competition from start of it Now they looking at me, I see them all through the rear view Kill yourself to get your spot, then they die to be near you They think that I made it, cause I made it past them They were never the target, my target is past